While working on version 2 of the Afterglow asset library for Blender, I've just made some updates to the default materials. So included in the product, because it's a lighting resource pack, we had a variety of just some template procedural materials, which just had basic parameters for helping to visualize the various possible object shapes under different lighting conditions. They weren't intended to be realistic or stylized, just rather more like diagnostic tools. But now because people like them, I've added a little bit of extra detail just to help get some visual variety to help make any shape of object look good. So for example, we have these default clay, a bright and dark versions, and some colorization with different degrees of ambient occlusion behavior between them. And one of the interesting things about this was for this default material, the display clay one, I had this gradient possibility where you could define an AO gradient top to bottom on the object, which we found actually looked quite good for tall standing characters, because sometimes it looks better to have a gradient of the ambient occlusion rather than it applying to the whole object at once. However, when people were bringing in objects with which had wildly different and unapplied scales to the scene, it would mess with that gradient. So by default, I've changed the value so it should be applied to the entire object for most sizes of objects. But for anyone that wants to access that feature, they can just modify the value. These materials have been balanced so they should look good in pretty much any lighting situation that's available in the studio cages. And likewise, if you happen to throw them into a more comprehensive studio environment, which is a larger diegetic space, everything should look good and adapt appropriately. So Afterglow version 2 is coming soon. The product is available on Gumroad and Superhive and follow for updates.